Now that I've played more Reddit online, I can really feel the community warming up to me. Yo, what is up, guys? All right, you guys have a good one. While in town, I decided to upgrade my horse. No offense to Roscoe, but he's slow as shit. Okay, I think we can make this. Meet Jerry. Jerry cost me 700 bucks and has eyes like he just snorted two pounds of pure snowy white cocaine. We ride to Blackwater to continue the story missions. I meet back up with Horley, along with old Stinky over here. Just a gift. Jerry makes a good first impression by dropping a big massive dookie in the middle of this cutscene. After this scene, the game informs me that I've unlocked the outlaw strand of missions because of my alleged dishonorable decisions. I'm honestly a little offended because I can't remember a single bad thing I've done in this game. Don't make me go back to I can't do <laughs> Okay. I need a new outfit, buddy. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Moving on. Orly recommends that we go work for a guy named Samson Finch, who's supposed to be a huge jerk. I ain't gonna lie to you. Truth is, I'm a bad bastard. Samson has a job for us, and I'm paired with another player whose name looks like he headbutted his keyboard and hit the enter button. Also, for some reason, Roscoe's here again, and Jerry is nowhere to be seen. My new friend doesn't care what horse I have, and cozies up to me real quick. Hey, how's it going? We ride with Samson to the next objective. He gives us some background on what we're doing, but I don't really pay attention to be honest. Do it again, do it again. <laughs> we arrive at the destination, and it's revealed that we're actually ambushing a train. We get into ideal train ambushing positions, and wait for it to arrive. Using our superior gamer skills, we quickly board the train, and take it over with ease. I make my way to the front of the train, and play a game of peekaboo with the driver. Peekaboo! We then immediately fail the mission. Wait, what? I honestly have no idea why this happens, but we run it back. Impatient after the last result, we charge the train and quickly take it over. I also pick up where I left off with the driver. I drive the train to our next destination, and Mr. Boggle mans the machine gun. We pull up to the building we're supposed to be burglarizing, and the defenses are pretty strong. Oh god! Badly hurt, I call out to what I think my teammate's name is for help. The Wasco do! I'm hurt! Help me! It works, and we start ransacking the place. The door to the guys we need to take out is locked, and I don't have any luck. <laughs> They're locking the door, dude. Let me in! My walking scrabble board of a partner has no issues getting in, however, and wipes the place out. Oh. Well, that works. We grab what we need and fight our way out of here once more. I fend off the remaining guys on horseback, and we complete the mission. Wanting to figure out why my expensive horse wasn't showing up for the mission, I head to the stable to see if I can make any adjustments. After entering the building, I get stuck in a glitch that has me repeatedly walking into Roscoe. Ugh, what is happening? If this wasn't bad enough, the camera keeps slowly zooming in on his low hangers. <laughs> Stop! Let me free! I try calling out for help. Hey, if someone can hear me, can somebody come kill me in the stables? I'm fucking stuck. Someone hears me, but I think there's a failure of communication. Oh. Well, that wasn't me, but well, now do me. No one puts me out of my misery, so I'm forced to reload the game. Wanting to keep my momentum going, I find Samson again and start his next mission. He wants us to raid this fort and blow up its ammunition stock. We also get to see old Stinky again. Not sure I do. Roscoe's also still here, so I cozy up to my new teammate and we head to the fort. Once we arrive, we're sure to make an intimidating entrance. <laughs> we start taking out the guards, and it doesn't take long to reveal that these guys are high-level special forces. Next, we try taking out the doors with dynamite. It's a strong-ass door. Unfortunately, the game glitches, and no amount of Oppenheimer-powered explosives will get through these doors. I start taking out the reinforcements, and my teammate starts looking for some creative ways to get into the fort. This has mixed results. Oh. After banging our heads on the doors for a few more minutes, my teammate calls it a day. I try to reload the mission, but no one is playing this godforsaken game, and I'm starting to see why. Not one to be deterred, I head to Valentine to recruit a posse for the mission with an offer that no one could refuse. Gentlemen, I'm about to do a story mission. Would anybody like to join me? You have the opportunity to be featured on a very, very popular YouTube channel. 
Surprisingly, it doesn't work. So I head back to the mission start point. Oh. This is a mess. Hey. While riding back, I receive an invite to join someone's moonshine shack. Not wanting to miss out on a good time, I accept the invite. Sure. I'm transported to this fancy hillbilly shack bar and grab a drink. Hey, cheers to you. I grab some almonds and proceed to hit the dance floor. Here, things get a little bit rowdy. Oh! You're f***ing drunk! Yeah, here we go. Get after it, boys. Come on now. Oh! oh a little handsy, huh? Where did I learn to play this? I run upstairs and see if I can grab any missions from one eye Willie over here. Jesus Christ. She's got nothing for me, so I leave the premises. Queue up again for the fort invasion mission, and after 15 minutes of matchmaking, I finally find a single partner. Hey, what's up? You look great. We talk to old Stinky one last time, so it goes, and invade the fort. We try to blow up the doors again, and you guys won't guess what happens. Yep, the shit won't blow up. Raging Gamer and I attempt to commit Bukaki to reload the mission. <laughs> Whoops, sorry, I grabbed the wrong script. Raging Gamer and I commit Seppuku to reload the mission. We invade the fort again and load up some more explosives. There we go. Thank God, the door finally explodes, and we're able to make our way through. Have I told you guys how cool shotguns are in this game? We finish blowing up the ammunition supplies, and get out of here. With the mission complete, I decide to queue up for one of the game's PvP modes. Let me share some quick highlights with you guys. Ah, what the? Don't gut me! <laughs> Bro. Yeah, that fucking sucked. I also take a quick trip to Valentine where I run into these guys engaging in their own version of Fight Club. These guys are just beating the hell out of each other while listening to sweet, sweet R&B music. Luckily, I think the sound quality is bad enough here that I won't get a copyright strike on this video. They're actually having a pretty fair fight until this happens. Oh. Oh, oh. I think you got him. I then witness just a serious case of murder. <laughs> Some uh, police brutality, you know what I'm saying? I'm then implicated in their crimes as well. Whoa. Hey, that's my horse. Oh. Bye, Jerry. Entertained by all of this, I head to the rooftops to get a better view. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Valentine, but it tends to bring out the worst in people. I eventually leave this place and just go for a ride. Not a care in the world, I really take in the game's beautiful environment. You know, Red Dead Online gets a lot of flack, but nothing really compares to just riding around. Oh no. Yeah, I get teleported in the middle of nowhere again, and these guys start assaulting my eardrums. Dude, my ears are bleeding in such a cool way right now. On this note, I think we're done playing Red Dead for the day. Thank you all for watching. Just a quick note, we're closing in on 500 subscribers, which is such a crazy milestone for me to think about. I really appreciate all the support and positive feedback you all have given me throughout the series. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like. Also, please let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. Thanks again.